Hi, well, good morning everyone. Welcome to a whole new series of video podcasts. We're going to be thinking about what Jesus tells us in the Sunday Gospel. And today we've come all the way, that's it, the technology's worked right. We've come all the way at no expense spared to Turf Moor. So first of all, Tina, give me a football. Thank you very much. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to listen to a Gospel now that tells us that God wants us all to be in his team. How fantastic. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus was telling what the kingdom of heaven would be like. He said, early one morning a man went out to hire some workers to work in his vineyard. After he had agreed to pay them a usual amount for a day's work, he sent them off to his vineyard. About nine that morning, the man saw other people standing in the market with nothing to do. He said he would pay them for what was fair and he sent them to work in his vineyard. So they went. At noon, and again at about three in the afternoon he returned to the market and each time he made the same agreement with others who were messing around with nothing to do. Finally about five in the afternoon he went back and found others who were standing there and he asked them why have you been standing here all day with nothing to do? Because no one hired us they answered. Then he told them to go and work in his vineyard. That evening the owner of the vineyard told the man in charge of the workers to call them and give them their money. He also told the man to begin with the ones whom he hired last. When the workers arrived, the ones who had been hired at five in the afternoon were given a full day's pay. The workers who'd been hired first thought that they would be given more than the others, but when they came, the same. So they began complaining to the owner of the vineyard. They said, the ones who you hired last only worked for one hour, but you have paid them the same as you did us, and we have worked in the sun all day long. The owner answered one of them, Friend, I didn't cheat you, I paid you exactly what we agreed. Take your money now and go. What business is it of yours if I pay them the same as I paid you? Don't I have the right to do what I, I do with my own money? Why should you be jealous if I want to be generous? Jesus said to them, So it is. Everyone who is now first will be last. Come on, Tina, throw me the ball. <laughs> Try it again. This way. Can't get the staff. So, thinking about the gospel. A few weeks ago, I was down visiting my brother and his family, and my nephew, Declan's a very good footballer, captain of his team. So when I met the manager afterwards, I said nothing in case I embarrassed him because he's in year eight and I didn't want to put him to shame. But afterwards, he was in the car and his mate was in the back as well and they were laughing, saying, oh, my dad's brilliant at football. Uncle Chris, he's no good at football, but my dad, he really can play football. And it's true. But I said to them, well, you know, lads, I used to be in the uh, school golf team thinking that they'd be quite impressed. But I have to say that they laughed even more then. I said, well, you know, actually, I played for Berry and District Golf Juniors. Much to their hilarity, it did cut no ice. So what I'm trying to say is that I know what it's like sometimes to be picked for a team, nearly, and not picked for a team. But in the Gospel today, Jesus is telling us something very important, that he wants us all to be part of the team. So much did I want to be part of our football team at school then I was in the substitute for the second team in our class of all lads, which is number 27 out of 30, even though I was joining in other things as well. And some of you will know the feeling that when you're picking at sports to say, oh, we want you, you and you, but we don't want you and you. And we all know the feeling what it's like to be picked, and we know the feeling that it's not like to be picked. But God says, I want all of you. Every single one of you. And it might be, that you're very good and you're first in the line for sport or for study or for lots of other abilities and at others we won't be the first but what God says is that every single one of us he wants us to be on his team to leave nobody out at all that's what the gospel says he kept going back to get everybody to be part of his team so it's not just about football it's about life and we can live that out today and this week then we'll be truly happy and so will everybody else so Tina on the head one more time Ooh, sorry come on
on, Tina. Right. Come on, Tina, and be part of the team. Thank you. Wonderful. Now, we're going to say together the special family prayer that Jesus gave us so that we know we're all part of the team. See, our Father, do you know that one? I think so. Right, good. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You see, that went quite well, don't you? Not bad. You see, turf more there. Yeah, it's pretty good, that. <laughs>